Pastor Aaron Middle School. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020, and this is Mr. Campbell with your daily announcements. Again, today is April 14th, so happy birthday today to Matthew, Felicity, Melanie, and Eleanor. Happy birthday. Today's weather will be mostly sunny with a high of 55. As I said, today is April 14th, so back in 1865, today is the day that Lincoln was shot in Ford's Theater. And back in 1921, this is also the day where the Titanic hit the iceberg. So again, if you thought that today was a historic day by us moving to Canvas, again, you are not wrong. Again, today is historic in many different ways, and if history tells us anything, it's to stay inside and get our schoolwork done. Also, April 14th is National Look Up at the Sky Day. Make sure to not look at the sun, but again, when you take a break from all of your work, get outside, enjoy that fresh air, and take a look up at the clouds. Don't forget, students, that lunch is available today and every day at the middle school from 11 until 12. This is a free lunch that's available to all students 18 or under. Again, all you need to do is simply show up at the middle school. And now I'd like to turn things over to Ms. Gallup for another edition of Off the Grid with Gallup. Hello and welcome to today's Off the Grid with Gallup segment. Today is the start of our virtual pep rally. So in order to participate in the pep rally, you need a couple things that hopefully you should be able to find around your house. You need some kind of tub or big bowl or bucket or bin, something that you can fill with water. I'm not gonna show you, but there's water in there. You need a plate. Plastic would work better. I don't have plastic, so I'm gonna have to use this paper plate. And you need three aluminum cans. You might remember this event from one of the pep rallies earlier in this year. So you're gonna take your paper or plastic plate slash bowl if you don't have a plate and sit it inside your tub and then your challenge is to stack the cans on top of the plate in the floating water once you get it to stand all three cans in the water while floating you need to snap a picture and enter it into the google form right there is the link to the google form Hit pause, type in that link, and send in your picture. Don't forget to add your grade so you get credit for the pep rally points. I'll be back on Friday to update you with the standings. If for some reason you can't figure out how to get this link right there to work, then please email me at tlgallop. All right, good luck and happy pep rallying. bonus points to the student or teacher who can raise it the highest number. So if you can go th three cans, you get credit. Bonus points to whoever can make it go the tallest. Good luck. Thanks again, Miss Gallup, for another wonderful edition of Off the Grid. I would like to take some time right now to share with you a little bit about how to navigate Canvas. As we know, today is our first day using Canvas here at West York Middle School, and so I'd like to share with you about how to access that web page. And again, if you do have any questions or need any help, our district trouble desk is available through the phone number that was located in the packet, as well as on the email. Again, both of those things are in the packets that you received with your Chromebook, as well as on the district website. I'd like to share with you how to log into Canvas. So you'll notice that I'm on the school district website. That's www.wyasd.org. So I just simply go to the district website. I'll go over here to our schools and then go ahead and click on the middle school. The middle school page will pop up. You'll see there's a little letter from me. And that information um, shares with you a little bit about what we're doing um, over these next few weeks. And you'll see that the first section talks a little bit about Canvas. So students, if you are not familiar with Canvas, you need to know how to navigate Canvas. Mrs. Halcott and Mrs. Savat did put together a tutorial a video and course for you to access Canvas and know how to use it. So all you would need to do is simply click on Canvas 101 and that will allow you to access that course to again give you a little bit of practice of how to use Canvas. 
You'll also notice up here at the right that there is a section that says video intro to Canvas. And again, that also shows you a little bit about how to access your Canvas page. So in order to get into my classes, all I simply need to do is click on Canvas. And then I would go ahead and type in my username and password. This would be the information that I would use to log into a regular computer here at school. So either in Mr. Warren's class, Ms. Boyer's class, any regular desktop computer, um, I would use my login information for that. And then I would simply log in and I would get to see all of the classes that I'm currently enrolled in. So students, when you log in, you would see a dashboard that would have all of the classes that you're enrolled in. I'm currently enrolled in Mrs. Markle's sixth grade math class. So that's this course right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And once I click on that class, her page shows up and again lets me know everything that is taking place in this particular class. So all I need to do is go ahead and click on the information for the week. So I would click on the weekly agenda. I would click on the week of April the 13th. And then again, I would read the information that tells me exactly what needs to be done and when I need to complete these assignments. Again, additional information can be found on every teacher's page about what needs to be completed. And again, all work needs to be turned in by the end of the day on Saturday. So we do encourage you to work each and every day. Certainly you're able to get things finished early and that is our hope um, that you have time throughout the week to complete your assignments and that you're able to get things finished well before Saturday. So if I need a little bit about how to access Canvas and use that um, in your learning this week. Again, students, we wish you a great day of learning. Remember today and every day to be prepared, act responsibly, respect others, and keep safe. And make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day, Bulldogs.